Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. In this video, we are going through the ultimate beginner's guide. I have been having a lot of fun with this game, so I want to share some Vampire Survivors tips and tricks. I haven't played too many games myself, that's why it's a beginner's guide. But one thing I have done now, and I think it was my fifth run, is actually completed a full 30 minute run. This game gets hectic, there is a lot of depth to it. But starting off, if you go to your collection, when you have a look at these items, so for the whip, you'll see there is orange text at the bottom and it says ignores speed and duration. So when you unlock something in the game, if you come to your collection after that run, you are going to get some tips on how to better use that item, like when you're building up through the levels and stuff in the match, or during your run or however you want to say it. But as well as ignoring things, you'll also see here with the King Bible, some of these tips will tell you what that actual item is best with. So if you're running King Bible, it's best to upgrade speed, duration, and area. A few things I'd highly recommend using, especially in your early runs, if we go to the unlocks, I would highly recommend you try and use Pascalina to get Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer is a really good weapon. Also, Peachone, so survive 10 minutes with any character. That is a fantastic weapon to use. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we will come across the Garlic and... It's probably the best thing I've used in this game so far. All you need to do is find five floor chickens. So that's going to be the power up that regenerates some of your health. But as well as the collection showing you tips, the unlocks giving you new things to use. If we go into power up, once you have collected some coins, you can find treasure chests. You can smash some of the, I'm going to say some of the scenery. So you get like these fire sort of, I don't even know what to call them. These little like fire pit things. If you destroy them in the mad forest, that's going to give you some drops. You can get health, you can get coins. There's loads of different things they can pop out. And then when you go to the library, like map, there will be candlesticks that you can destroy. So things like, if we have a look, you've got max health. So that augments your max health by 10% per rank. Each rank being how many times you level this up. So it goes to a max of 30% once this is fully upgraded. And I've actually just maxed that one out because I do like having a higher health pool. Then we have things like extra inflicted damage. There's loads of different power-ups, but there's also something called Curse. It's quite expensive, but it increases the enemy speed, health quantity, and frequency by 10% per rank. So there are some that will set you back, but there are lots that will help you out. The last one I want to talk about is Revival. You get to revive once in the game with 50% of your health. So now if we jump into the start part, you'll see I've now got seven characters available. Two of which I haven't bought yet, but you can see that these are what they start with if you look at the bottom right of the pictures. So Antonio starts with a whip, Imelda is going to start with a magic wand, Pascalina starts with Rune Tracer. I recommend playing a few matches, trying to survive as long as you can. This game, there's obviously a skill factor to it, but it's not all about skill. RNG, your movement, and things like that are going to help you out because you could build completely wrong and that ruin a whole run. But if you are picking characters, I highly recommend you start with Antonio. Antonio has a bigger health pool than the other characters. And the whip is a really, really good weapon. It's got strong damage. The only problem is it's a horizontal attack only. So it literally goes left and right. So you need to try and get those enemies next to you instead of them being above or below you. And you'll see on the right hand side, the inlaid library has a check mark. I have actually done a 30 minute run on that map, which is what you would have seen at the start of the video. I fully completed a run on that and it was my second time on that map. I did try it with Poe with the garlic, but that was a very bad start. So if we jump into a game with Antonio, Antonio gains 10% more damage every 10 levels up to a max of 50%. And what we're going to do, I do love the inlaid library, but I've collected the relic, I've completed it. So what we'll do is we'll just jump into Mad Forest. So you'll see with the whip straight away, it's just going to the right. And the blue little gems that drop are going to be your XP. You'll see the XP bar at the top of the screen. And your goal is to level up as much as you can. So right now I've got three choices. I can get Magic Wand, I can add another projectile to my whip, or I can get King Bible. I'm going to start with Magic Wand because I would like an attack that doesn't just go left or right. And I'm just going to keep roaming around, letting the enemies die, and picking up the XP gems as they drop. 
I've also increased the range of my pickups through the power-ups in the main menu, so that helps a lot as well. These are the little fire things I was talking about where you can get coins. And right at the start, I actually got an ability from the uh, fire thing. It gave me this like fire breathing thing that it's whichever way you're facing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go with the magic wand upgrade because there are different weapons and stuff that I want. So now I'm going to fire two projectiles instead of one. There we go. So I can now raise my inflicted damage by 10%. I can get a shield from damage or I can gain extra XP. I'm going to take the XP for now because it's still early in the game. So I'm just going to gain extra XP as I'm walking around and killing enemies. So now I'm going to take Rune Tracer because that's a weapon I want. And that way we've got extra attacks. Another thing I'd recommend with this is... Don't try and take loads of different attacks at the start. Do try and find one that you like and then level it up as much as you can. So I'm going to take the whip with this one because it fires one more projectile. And obviously I've got hollow heart there, which augments max health by 20% and it lets you evolve the whip. So when you get a weapon up to max level, it evolves. And with the whip, for an example, when it does the evolution, it and like as it swipes, it absorbs health off the enemies, and it's uh, you get crazy, crazy evolutions. Like the magic wand fires with absolutely no delay when you evolve it. So what I'm going to do here, because it's still quite early, I don't need to worry about my armor too much. Is I'm going to take the upgrade on Rune Tracer. Okay, I'm going to. There we go. There's a chicken drop. So five of those, and you'll unlock garlic if you've never played before. And if you don't know anything about this game, you've never played it before. It's free on Xbox Game Pass, and it's only going to cost you £4 on any other platform. A very, very cheap game. Hours and hours of fun. I'm always pushing for these fire things. I can't remember what they're actually called. But I'm always pushing for them because they give you very, very good drops. And as I said, when you're in the library, it becomes candlesticks. I could really do with garlic right now. Perfect. <laughs> Just as I need it. So it damages nearby enemies, it reduces resistance to knockback and freeze. So you'll now see this little three-layered ring around me. And whenever enemies touch it, they receive knockback, they take damage, and it keeps them away from you. Upgrading this is fantastic when you are playing Vampire Survivors. So now my goal is to level up just like that. But I do want to... I might take a little bit of luck. No, actually, let's do the whip. I want to try and level up as much as I can now to just improve this garlic. As the base area gets bigger, it deals more damage. And here we go with the first part of the mad forest where the flowers come in and try and circle you in. We'll have a praying mantis somewhere. And there we go. So base area up by 40%, base damage up by 2. I'm going to take that garlic upgrade and you'll see the circles got much bigger. So I can keep enemies further away from me. And then just keep piling on the damage. And there's the praying mantis right above us. Once we take him out, he will drop a treasure chest. And within that treasure chest, we will get upgrades for our items. And we'll also get a lot of coins. So you'll see the treasure chest there. And we're starting this one off with a blue. So if we skip it, we got an upgrade for the wand, and we got 174 gold. So the cooldown is now reduced by 0.2 seconds. So it's going to fire that little bit quicker. So the big enemies in this, like that praying mantis, there's like uh, witches and stuff in the library. They will always drop treasure chests, and they contain some very, very good items. I've had some purples. You get three items and a load more coins. And I also had, I'm going to say a gold one yesterday when I did the... Uh, the half an hour run and I think it gave me five upgrades and like a thousand gold and you'll see there with the garlic just how quick those bats got deleted so I can almost just stand still and the bats are gone I do need to get out of this graveyard area though okay here we go so I can level up the whip get the base damage up I can get the base damage up on the wand or what I'm going to do is take Santa water because I really really like that as well You'll see these, like, potion things coming in, like, right there. Where they just lay down a pool on the floor. 
There's loads of XP I can grab as well. Hopefully get another level out of this. Here we go. So I've got Peach own. Bombard's in a circling zone. And we got another treasure. Only a blue again. Peach own got an upgrade straight away. 200 uh, gold. Fires another projectile. And this thing, when you level it up, gets crazy. Now we've got a giant praying mantis coming in. I do need to get out of here. This has become very, very dangerous. I need the flowers to go. Please, flowers. Runs over. I don't know how I've survived it. I really don't. I need some health and fast. So I'm just going to take the armor. Reduce the damage I take. Get some survivability going now. I found the chicken. I got a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take the rune tracer. Extra projectile. Come on, game. Don't screw me over. And that's it. That's where you start getting absolutely battered. I just, I couldn't get the upgrades quick enough. I couldn't grab that XP. I was very low health. But taking out that giant praying mantis would have done me really good. So after that run, we did get one unlock by defeating a total of 3,000 skeletons. And it shows you just how well everything did. So 12 minutes, 16 survival time, 411 gold, which goes towards different power-ups to help out. Reach level 20, defeated 3,063 enemies. And then if we look at the DPS, Rune Tracer was the best for us. It would have been nice to get some more upgrades for Garlic and for Santa Water as well. We didn't get Peach on until really, really late. But with that, I've done, I think, four runs on Mad Forest now. And I've not survived, I think, longer than 13 minutes. Whereas my second ever run on the library, I survived the full 30 minutes. So I would say, for a beginner, get Garlic, get Peach on, get Santa Water, all that stuff. Make sure you're upgrading it. As soon as you've got the library unlocked, head to the library with Antonio because he's got a very good start in health pool. Put on some power-ups and stuff. Learn about the attacks that you're going to be using, how you're going to build the character through the run. And I honestly think the library is the best for long runs when you're starting out and then eventually go back to Mad Forest and start pulling off 30-minute runs there. But that was the ultimate beginner's guide for vampire survivors. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope it helped you out. Check out this video if you want to see other vampire survivors on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.